Okay, I, I need to also talk about Joachim Love. His legacy, I, I'm struggling to understand what it is, Marcus. He's been at the national setup since 2004. He took the reins in 2006. He's won the World Cup. Uh, but the 2018 edition of the World Cup, they were poor. There have been some really almost embarrassing results. Losing against North Macedonia is one that pops to mind. It seems to be a, a team at times struggling with identity. They're out of the round of 16 here. And by all accounts, it seems that he might have overstayed his welcome with the national setup. Almost surprising that he kept his job after 2018. What is his legacy within Germany and for you, Marcus? Yeah, the problem was uh, after 2014, he won the World Cup and uh, he said, OK, I, I still will be with the manager from the German national team. 2016 semi-final, you dropped out and then disaster 2018 till now not not many good performances in the, in the in the qualification games or in the friendly games so the the, the, the supporters the people they, they couldn't see him anymore so you you had to change something now and it's a bit sad because he did so much right for the german national team for the german football and he he he, he, he didn't take the, the right option to say hey that's it I'm going now, and yeah, you get a statue in front of a of a, of a stadium. So he, he he didn't do it. So he want to stay. Um, I don't know for how long. But now is a point there. The people can't hear him anymore, um, and that's a bit sad because he did so much, so many things right for the German football. And so, but now the time is done. Hansi Flick is coming, and and again, I think we have a good squad. Similar to the, the English team, you know, the, if, if you if you watch the, the English squad, this is uh, it's amazing how much potential is in in this squad. I think we we are similar, not not the same, but similar to them. And Hansi Flick is now the the, the new manager, and uh, I believe the biggest difference today for me was the Germans were not believing that they can can beat the, the English team. So there, Hansi Flick has to bring the the. the the belief back in, in the team to say, hey, we are Germans, we can win tournaments, and uh, let's go. And that was the big difference today. But what is his legacy, though, for you? What kind of legacy is he leaving? Because the 2014 World Cup, there was that brilliant result, do you remember, against Brazil? One of the most seismic results on home soil as well in, in World yeah. Cup history. They won the Confederation yeah. Cup in 2017, but the 2018 World Cup... It really was a huge letdown for Germany, and like I mentioned, and the it results. Starts it starts earlier, 2006, the World Cup at home. You know, no one was expecting something from us because we had not the best national team in the world. And they did a fantastic job. They finished third. And the supporters, they, they, they loved this team because they were brought everything in what football makes. You know, passion. Uh, Proud to be uh, to play for, for for your country, everything of this was uh, uh, in in the World Cup 2006, and he was he was assistant from Jürgen Klinsmann, and from there starts uh, unbelievable period from from German national team. You know, we we always came in the semi final final, and in, in the end 2014 we won the title, and of course the seven one against Brazil in Brazil was something special, but. This is for me too easy to say that was the biggest thing from Jogi Löw. No, he did so many good things for the national team and I really crossed the finger for him that he find a, a new new job uh, who was saying uh, that that's my new target now and I really love it to do it and really crossed the finger that he find something because he did a massive job for the German national team. Yeah. It's just sometimes, Tony, I, I want to know your input here. A manager, be at club or international level, even though you've had success during the early days, sometimes when, when it's not going right uh, and the crowd are on your back, it can be difficult to cement your legacy. I mean, Arsenal and Arsene Wenger, you could argue, had that to an extent as well. Does he speak English, Mar Marcus? Does he speak English? I think we might... We'd like him. Arteta's great, but you know he'd be good at the Arsenal if he if he found his job. Sure, but I think so. <laughs> That'd be great. No legacies. You know it, it is a shame. He's been a phenomenal, phenomenal manager for for his country. Um, 
They could do it. To be honest with you, Marcus, I think you could do with the right back. We've got about seven <laughs> in England that are, are exceptional. But the two goals that were given away today was down that flank, you know, and, and you know, your real weakness of your squad at the moment is the right back area. I think you said before the for the show, and, and we've got Reese James, and we've got Trippier, and we, we, you know, we've got three injuries. So I think the German squad is very, very good. And you move on, didn't you? He's had huge success, Wacom Lowe. And, and, you know, he's been a it's credit to his country. You've won your stuff. I'd like to have a legacy like that, Adam, to be honest with you, having a World Cup. And OK, you've not, it's not come off for you. And, and knockout football's like that. You know, you get some, some results that, you know, see, look at the three games that have just happened. You know, France have gone out. It happens in knockout football. Sometimes the best tournament with the best individuals don't win this tournament. Mm. You know, it's very, very difficult. You know, it's like cup football in, in, in the UK, in England. You know, the FA Cup and things like that. You know, when it's knockout football, when it's on the day and who's up and who takes their moments, you know, it's, that's why it's so exciting. That's why I was like all on edge today. I'm like, oh my God, is it going to go our way? Is it going to go there? And, and form and squad strength and, and, and technique and great players, Ronaldo goes out the window. It all goes out the window and it comes to that moment of time, whether you can take that moment and deliver and you need a little bit of luck. 